I think it's ridiculous. It's a witch hunt. Uh, I'm leading in the polls. They have no idea how they stop me. The only way they can try is through impeachment. This has never happened to a president before. There's never been a thing like this before. It's nonsense. And when you see the call, when you see the readout of the call, uh, which I assume you'll see at some point, you'll understand. After several days of Democrat Party media outrage over a phone call between President Trump and the new president of Ukraine and Democrats officially launching impeachment inquiries, we finally have the full transcript of the conversation between Trump and Zelensky. Does it contain the evidence needed for the Democrats to finally get Trump? Let's find out. Here's the transcript. Uh, The beginning of it, I'm just going to go ahead and skip because it's just pleasantries and congratulations for winning the election. And I'm going to kind of just get down into the nitty gritty of this here. So President Zelensky just talks about how he's happy he won and he would like to talk to Trump more often because he enjoys talking to him. And President Trump responds that, hey, that's a good idea. Then President Zelensky responds, well, yes, to tell you the truth, we are trying to work hard because we wanted to drain the swamp here in our country. We brought in many new people, not the old politicians, not the typical politicians, because we want to have a new format and a new type of government. You are a great teacher for us in that. President Trump responds, well, it's very nice of you to say that. I will say that we do a lot for Ukraine. We spend a lot of effort and a lot of time, much more than the European countries are doing, and they should be helping you more than they are. All they do is talk, and I think that's something you should really ask them about. When I was speaking to Angela Merkel, she talks Ukraine, but she doesn't do anything. A lot of European countries are the same way, so I think it's something you want to look at, but the United States has been very good to Ukraine. I wouldn't say that it's reciprocal necessary because things are happening that are not good, but the United States has been very, very good to Ukraine. So here we see what Trump was talking about when he said that his concern with the president was that the European countries weren't paying their fair share. And the transcript seems to back that up, even though people on CNN and MSNBC yesterday were saying that Trump just made up this new excuse to defend himself. President Zelensky responds, yes, you are absolutely right. Not only 100%, but actually 1000%. And I can tell you the following. I did talk to Angela Merkel and did meet with her. I also met and talked with Marconi and told them that they are not doing quite as much as they need to be doing on the issues with sanctions. They are not enforcing the sanctions. They are not working as much as they should work for Ukraine. Something else that's interesting here is that Trump is talking to the president of Ukraine about strengthening sanctions against Russia. He's actually making the case that the European Union and European countries are making it more difficult to enforce sanctions against the Russian Federation. Mark my words, the media will completely ignore that part. President Trump responds, I would like you to do us a favor though because our country has been through a lot and Ukraine knows a lot about it. I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation with Ukraine. They say crowd strike. I guess you have one of your wealthy people, the server. They say Ukraine has it. There are a lot of things that went on, the whole situation. I think you're surrounding yourself with some of the same people. I'd like to have the attorney general call you or your people, and I would like to have him get to the bottom of it. As you saw yesterday, that whole nonsense ended with a very poor performance by a man named Robert Mueller, an incompetent performance, but they say a lot of it started with Ukraine. Whatever you can do, it's very important that you do it if it's possible. It actually looks like Trump's more interested in how the dossier got started and wants Ukraine to look into that, which might go to explain why we're seeing this show of outrage from the Democrats and their media. Perhaps they're worried about what Ukraine might find in an investigation about how the dossier came to exist in the first place keep in mind. It was actually the Democrats who tried to enlist Ukraine to meddle in the U.S. elections. Yesterday, The Hill put out an article titled, Let's Get Real, Democrats Were First to Enlist Ukraine in U.S. Elections. The article starts, Earlier this month, during a bipartisan meeting in Kiev, Senator Chris Murphy delivered a pointed message to Ukraine's new president. While choosing his words carefully, Murphy made clear, by his own account, that Ukraine currently enjoyed bipartisan support for its U.S. aid, but that it could be jeopardized if the new president acted to request by President Trump's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, to investigate past corruption allegations involving Americans, including Vice President Joe Biden's family. So it appears that Democrats were actually threatening to withhold aid from Ukraine if they even thought about investigating Joe Biden. The implied message did not require an interpreter for Zelensky to understand. Investigate the Ukraine dealings of Joe Biden and his son, Hunter, and you jeopardize Democrat support for future U.S. aid to Kiev. Wow, it looks like once again, once again, that the Democrats are guilty of what they're accusing their political opposition of. 
President Trump responds, good, because I heard that you have a prosecutor who was very good and he was shut down and that's really unfair. A lot of people are talking about that, the way they shut your very good prosecutor down and you had some very bad people involved. Mr. Giuliani is a highly respected man. He was the mayor of New York City, a great mayor, and I would like him to call you. I will ask him to call you along with the Attorney General. Rudy very much knows what's happening and he is a very capable guy. If you could speak to him, that would be great. The former ambassador from the United States, the woman, was bad news, and the people she was dealing with in Ukraine were bad news, so I just want to let you know that. The other thing, there's a lot of talk about Biden's son, that Biden stopped the prosecution, and a lot of people want to find out about that, so whatever you can do with the attorney general would be great. Biden went around bragging that he stopped the prosecution, so if you can look into it, it sounds horrible to me. Zelensky responds, I wanted to tell you about the prosecutor. First of all, I understand and I'm knowledgeable about the situation. Since we have won the absolute majority in our parliament, the next prosecutor general will be 100% my person, my candidate. The issue of the investigation of the case is actually the issue of making sure to restore the honesty. So we will take care of that and we'll work on the investigation of the case. On top of that, I would like to kindly ask you if you have any additional information that you could provide to us, it would be very helpful for the investigation to make sure that we administer justice in our country with regard to the ambassador to the United States from Ukraine. As far as I recall, her name was Ivanovich. President Trump responds, well, she's going to go through some things. I have Mr. Giuliani give you a call, and I'm also going to have Attorney General Barr call you, and we will get to the bottom of it. My guess is the Democrats and their media are going to focus on that one paragraph where Trump talks about Biden's son and Joe Biden stopping the prosecution from investigating further. I'm not a lawyer, but to me, this looks completely harmless. There were no ultimatums and no demands. He simply asked the president to look into it. Given the standards that the media has applied to this case, it's a little unbelievable that Joe Biden is getting a complete pass by the same group considering that he withheld $1 billion from Ukraine so that they would fire a prosecutor who was investing the corrupt company that Joe Biden's son was a board member of for some inexplicable reason. Plus, we now know that the Democrats were pressuring Ukraine not to investigate Joe Biden or risk losing aid. And this occurred before Trump or Giuliani made any inquiries to Ukraine on this subject. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. You can also send me a donation on PayPal and I immensely appreciate it. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.